Welcome to ETM Cat Herders meeting 139. This is issue number 416 on Eat Cat Herders PM repo. On agenda, we have ECH updates on engineering ops. We will take a look at uh, the latest uh, testing call for Petra upgrade and other protocol discussion along with the preparation of events, fellowship and hackathon. Mm, yeah, and uh, please feel free to add any ag agenda item if you would like to discuss for today. So starting with the first item. Wow, thank you, George, for joining us. <laughs> you are right on time. So the first item is ECH engineering with George. I know we met yesterday. If you would like to maybe provide some highlights from yesterday's discussion or updates where we are on website today. Wow, yeah, uh, exactly on time. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's been a couple updates to the website, um, added like testimonials and uh, updated the footer as well, correcting the, the copyright for that. Um, and there's, I think there's a few other touch-ups as well, um, mainly applied to the homepage. Uh, and we're also working on... Uh, uh, another section of the website to provide uh, NFT rewards to EIP authors, um, whoever uh, have an e whoever authored an EIP that is included in uh, Pectra or one of the future upgrades, uh, they'll be able to claim it. Um, so that's currently in the works. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. I would like to add one point which came to my mind after the meeting. Uh, we would like to have a donor board, I mean like a leader board for donors. I was working on details of it. I think um, Akash requested some data from me and that led to this um, thought. We should perhaps have the leader board uh, who have donated how much? Do you think it would be a good idea to keep it over there? Because this is a public good project, so I was wondering, like, it may encourage more people to donate to our project. Uh, yeah, I guess you could do that. Um, I think the, the specifics around that would have to be thought over a little more, but um, it's totally doable. Very well, I think I have created an issue. Let me quickly check if I did or did not. No, it's not there. Okay, perfect. So I think yesterday we discussed about um, updating a few more pages for Fusaka and Amsterdam, uh, starting from issue 33, 34, 35. That needs to be worked on. Maybe we can take a look into that. And about leaderboard, uh, for donors list, uh, I will share details asynchronously with you and then we will decide on what um, what we should add, like how the page should look like. Make sense? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm just uh, taking a note as well. So we can publish it right after the meeting and 35 okay that would be all on website i know you did mention about l2e quizzes so um anyone here if you would like to volunteer for that let me know or ping me later on so i can provide you more context and we should get the quizzes up so we finish the work on l2e pages Okay, cool. Um, moving on to the next item. Oh, um, a few things that perhaps we missed checking yesterday. Uh, there are few action items from pending from earlier meetings. I don't know if we have covered that or not. George, quickly, can you confirm that? Uh, on agenda, it suggests that update journalist stats on website, follower, subscriber, etc. 
do we have a placeholder for these things? I am completely uh, different from that. What are these action items? Um, it's on issue number uh, 416, e catheter agenda. I just have shared the link in chat if you may want to follow that. Okay. We totally missed it yesterday. <laughs> I don't I don't see it in the chat. Um oh. No, no, I don't I don't see it in the, the Zoom chat. Okay, maybe you joined a little bit later. So let me ping here. So these are the action items. And this is for reference the agenda for reference. So to be clear, okay. the um, smallest one was yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, so the last one's been done. Uh, top two, uh, not yet. So, okay. um, so we can add it in to dos for the next week. Um, yeah. So it is a ECH in like ECH Institute incorporation is done, right? Yes. Okay, so I I just believe. INC was missing there, so it's it's perfect, fine. I'm gonna add these two for uh, to do's for the next meeting. We'll revisit it. Very well. Moving on, ECH podcast. Akash, would you want to provide updates on podcast where we are on it? And uh, just a reminder, if we are recording this, you may want to unmute yourself. Hello. Hello, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, so last month, uh, like... Do I need to give update related to podcast or like all over all work I've done in last month? We can start with podcast and I think uh, we have other things. Um, ecosystem project demo meet the herder one by one. So maybe where we are on podcast and if you have any stats that you would want to share. Uh, we can perhaps come up with a template on like how do we want to report this specific section. Okay, let's uh, start with uh, what all podcasts are ready. Are we up to date? Are we lagging behind where we are on it? What is the latest one? Yeah, we are up to date related to podcast and that's it. <laughs> Very well. Maybe we can come up with a template uh, for how do we want to do reporting of it. Um, I don't want to shower it as a surprise, uh, but it would be nice to maybe collect certain stats, especially which podcast is doing very well. I know we are now releasing all core dev meetings in audio only form. I'll be curious to hear how is that performing. And there are other sections. Um, I would also want to understand if um, we can have that in uh, directories or folders so people interested with specific stuff may be able to do that. Would it be possible? Creating playlists just like YouTube? Yeah, I don't have full access, but I think we can do that. Okay, then I will work with you to get you permission. So we can work on playlist part. Yeah. Okay, Um. if there is any other update that you would want to share. No, that's... With related to anything else, like uh, any other tasks. Yeah, currently working on uh, a deck uh, presentation. Okay. Okay, very well. 
So that's what I have noted it down here. Cool. Mm, thank you for sharing. I believe uh, we have re released uh, Ethereum protocol, Ethereum follow protocol and EPD ecosystem project demo with Brantley yesterday. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember having any shots of it. Do you think we can create one for further promotion? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, perfect. EFP, that would be nice to have. We should have at least one shot for one video so we can reshare these videos later on with like any critical thing would be nice to have. On Meet the Herder, I, I think um, Haresh is less around these days. So it would be nice if someone from the group would want to pick up on this task, maybe want to volunteer on doing Meet the Herder series, getting banned because now we have onboarded a few new herders. Um, I don't see value on the call, but uh, we may have a new herder joining us shortly. Anyone else listening to this call, if you are interested in volunteering to cat herders or joining the group, please feel free to reach out uh, us on Eat Cat Herders Discord. The next section is EIPS Insight. I see Vivin joining the call. Vivin, if you would want to update us with the latest development on the website and also provide us the latest stats how we are doing for the month of October. Yeah, sure. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm providing a demonstration now. So we have added three new tools to our website. Uh, and previously, I, I also shared demo for this analytics part, but we also refined it so that the data will be more accurate and it will be easy to understand. So there are uh, four fields in this. Created PRs are the number of PRs that are created in that particular month. And merged PRs are, are the PRs that are uh, closed and merged in that month. And closed PRs are the ones that are closed but not merged in that month. And open PRs uh, is the number of PRs at the start of that month that are that are still in open state and you can view the data by clicking on view more and selecting the particular month and year and you can also download the reports based on the data uh, by also using the filters that you wanted to have And the other tools is the uh, reviews tracker. This will track the uh, number of reviews that are made in that particular month. So you can uh, select the reviews and uh, view the data of them. Similar to the other analytics tool, you can select the month and year and you can view the data for that month and the third tool is this is uh, this is the latest tool that we have added which is eip board in this one we'll we will be providing the list of uh, eips that need a list of peers that needed the uh, like that are uh, in the that are waiting for the editor response for the longest duration. Uh, you can see the data for EIPS and ERCS as well. This will be helpful for uh, keeping track of the uh, reviews that, that are, that the editors need to respond about. And coming to the insight for this one, There are three RIPs and one EIPs in the draft. These are the three RIPs. 
seven seven two eight seven seven five nine and seven seven six seven in one EIP. That is created on October 4th, 2024. So these are the updates so far. We are, we are also refining the UI, like adding more resources, adding more resources and adding picture information. And all the updates, uh, like we are trying to be up to date from time to time. And we are still working on new tools for building that. That's it for the update from my side. I have a quick question. In the um, analytics page, yeah. the open, um, does it say, for example, if we are looking at something open in the month of uh, September, does it represent the data at the beginning of September, that means September 1st, or does it represent the data at the end of the month, that is September 30th? Uh, at the beginning of the month. Okay. I mean, following uh, Sam's comment, it seems like he's looking for other way around. He want uh, the open should be what is open at the end of the month. Like we could not attend to that. May, may you want to revisit his comment and clarify that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Check it. yeah. And also, it would be nice to have all these legends updated on the website. Like right now, we are explaining and people who are following the discussion on issue thread may be able to know, but it would be nice that if we can list it out, what exactly they are looking at. Well, for that, we have added a self-explanatory text at the top of the page so that people can understand. Okay. Does it also include all the legends? Yeah, yeah, it, okay, it does. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Thank you. There was one other thing uh, I wanted to, yeah. In reviewers tracker, so we yeah. are, if you can maybe uh, pull out the reviewers tracker one more time on yeah, screen. Sure, sure. Perfect, thank you. So in reviews tracker, uh, if you could limit it to 2024, what I'm trying to understand here is like, this is providing us the data for um, reviewers, like all different reviewers we can perhaps, or can we, can we check reviewers uh, whom we don't want to see or whom we want to see? That's number one question. Number two is, is it possible to add the data of open PRs, because, you know, um, as a line chart there uh, to showcase like how many open PRs were there and uh, like total at the end of the month after this review. Would it yeah. be possible to combine both? Yeah, we can try that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that would be perfect. Maybe we can connect async and I will provide you more details for what I'm looking at. And uh, yeah, it would be nice to have that information displayed on this page as well. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Thank you so much for sharing. So we already took a look at EIPS Insight. Next is PPNE. I think the last one that we did was on the Spectra DevNet. Um, yeah, that's um, with the Mario and Paritosh on uh, Pectra upgrade. Uh, now we know that the scope of Pectra has been decreased. So we will be focusing on the EIPs which are pending. Mostly we have covered all the EIPs. Good thing is that EOF is now out of Pectra scope. Uh, that could be found in Fusaka now. And I will just take a look and if there is any other EIP pending, we could cover that. If there are suggestions on what more people would like to hear about the Pectra upgrade, we'll be happy to include it in the conversation of peep &E. So please do let us know your thoughts on, on other proposals. On grants, we would be entering into Octant Epoch 5 
shortly. Whoever are holding GLM token may be able to support 20 plus public good projects. Ethereum cat herders is one of them and would love and appreciate any support that we could receive there. It is going to be quadratic funding round. So your minimal support could increase us the chances of getting the maximum grant. Donate with the minimum amount. It's fine. Uh, and that is from your staking reward. So take a look and please support Ethereum cat herders over there. Next is WREP at Eat Singapore. Um, I believe we created a beautiful video of uh, Eat Singapore. In Singapore, we received this opportunity of showcasing our uh, cat herders uh, task performance, like what we do, how we do, and what is the role of Ethereum cat herders in the Ethereum ecosystem. I was uh, happy uh, to share these information and so proud that we got to uh, share about this on the uh, main stage. We also supported the WIEP event organized the same day. Um, and we we haven't captured this in a beautiful video. Thanks to Akash and Minakshi for curating and creating this video. I hope to live up on the... Um, expectation of the community and maybe we can come up with some something similar after the defcon event so if you haven't checked out the video the link is added in the agenda right here please check out the video on ethereum pm breakout room and other updates i think a breakout room has been updated for uh, epbs 100 percent updated and pr is up i would be working on uh, roll up RIP's meeting this week and we'll be updating uh, the breakout room meeting for that. On double push meeting notes, maybe we can quickly check if there are any pending. Um, my sincere request to every user who is documenting notes for double push meeting, please submit your notes within 72 hours. And if you cannot do that, please indicate us so we can open the notes for the community. There are so many people who are looking out for smaller opportunities to make their contribution. And of course, earn a small bounty associated with documentation of these notes. So keep us posted and uh, we make sure that these notes are available for the community on time. Next is Ethereum network upgrade. And uh, as I was mentioning that uh, there are certain changes discussed in the Petra testing call that happened yesterday. Now we are proceeding towards DevNet 4. Specs of DevNet 4 is already out. Um, quickly checking, George, did we already update that or we are in process of updating specs for DevNet 4? Uh, uh, we're updating. So the, well, the specs are already on the website. Okay. Um, but still need to update the yeah, for inclusion. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. So yes, people can find the specs for DevNet 4 on Cat Herder's website. And the summary of the call is added on the Discord channel. However, I have tried to uh, add the summary right here on the agenda for people who would want to learn more about it. Please click on the details button. And um, yeah, it provides the current status with respect to DevNet 3 and the preparation of with DevNet 4 here. People can also follow the hard fork meta for the update. Uh, the update George was just mentioning, as some of you may know that now the Pectra scope has been decreased. Earlier we had 20 plus EIPs for the upgrade. Now it has been decreased. I think it is 10 or 11 something. I'm not 100% sure, but you can be by following EIP 7600, which is hard fork meta for Pectra upgrade. Some of the EIPs now have been moved to the next upgrade, which is called Fusaka upgrade. You should be uh, looking forward to have a dedicated page for Fusaka upgrade on Eat Cat Herders website. So stay tuned and learn more about Ethereum network upgrade with Ethereum Cat Herders.
We have added a bunch of playlists for you to follow the other related meetings of Ethereum community. And uh, that brings us to our next agenda item, which is plans for DEFCON and attendees. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I see a big typo here. <laughs> okay. So um, I wonder uh, who all are visiting DEFCON, but we would love to invite everybody who is a part of Ethereum Cat Herders or would be interested in being a part of Ethereum Cat Herders to the booth that has been provided to Ethereum Cat Herders. I am aware that uh, Akash and Minakshi would be there holding the fort for us. Um, if there are thoughts, ideas and suggestions, I know uh, George also mentioned in the meeting yesterday that it would be a good idea to have banners and some promotional stuff with our booth. Um, Akash, if you have any thoughts you would like to share where we are on designing and what all we think would be nice thing to be added there. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Uh, I haven't started any designing part, but yeah. Would you be able to like uh, finish up the banners that can let, let people know that this is Cat Herder's banner and if it would be there, what are your thoughts like, um, how would it look like and like just like on a high level? Currently thinking on this topic, but I don't have exact idea right now, but Um, it's all right. Maybe you can put it together in a document and share it with us. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, would love to hear any thoughts, suggestions on how do we want to keep our booth look like? Uh, we can like uh, we can print like related theme related banners. For our boot and uh, i'm like thinking about some stickers and stickers and like yeah stickers yeah and some very well maybe yeah it would be nice to maybe solidify this these ideas because we have very few days i think about a month to finish up all these things and be there on the ground so sooner the better let's try to uh, like solidify this by the end of this week and get that done in next two weeks so for merchandise and all uh, Minakshi I understand you would be uh, like owning the responsibility of merchandise or stickers or anything we would decide to go ahead with you think this can be done within this time period like would be ready before the event oh uh, yes so I need uh, three to four fingers, five mostly. If design is ready, it can be done within three to four working days. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. I will check with the uh, other group members and decide on the quantity. Um, it would be nice if you could provide us the, you know, the expected budget and things like that. And yeah, we can decide on that. Okay. Sure. Any other thoughts, ideas, suggestions from anyone here? Uh, yes. Um, like some works, uh, workshops and presentation would be there. Like and like we can conduct some workshop on topics like EIPs, governments, government and community building, etc or secure some speaking slots for key item uh, like members like Gajinder and man yeah that would be good so for speaking slot i think uh, the time is already passed um mm -hmm. but we can definitely talk to our contributors and try to have them on the booth and we can figure it out if i have to like 
yes please go live ahead. live social media activities also like you can do would it be possible to like maybe put it together in a document and share it with us that would help us solidify yeah. it and yeah we can decide okay, okay. that sure. rather than later cool so as an action item from this i i'm hoping that you and akash come up with some great ideas to make good use of those booths and we can uh, work in that direction unfortunately i'm not making it to devcon this year which i was really hoping to be there but i'm happy to support uh, remotely as far as possible all right with that i think uh, we have covered most of the items uh, added on the agenda there are some general updates and stats on social media link if you aren't following us on any of the social media please do join us on webcast twitter discord youtube and linkedin on twitter you would find new videos educational videos a lot of information discord will help you get to interact with eip editors and many other community members you can ask your questions follow us on twitter and webcast for latest update and yeah that's all about the items listed on the agenda if anyone has anything in mind that they would like to maybe discuss in the future meeting please feel free to drop a comment and we would love to add that to the next meeting any final comments and thought from anybody well thank you everyone for joining us here today hope to see you in two weeks <laughs>